Hi everyone, my name is Miss B. Hanley, and today we're talking about a Christmas carol. A Christmas Carol, in prose, being a ghost story of Christmas, was originally published by Charles Dickens in 1843 by Chapman and Hall and it was illustrated by a man named John Leach. The story follows a man named Ebenezer Scrooge who hates Christmas and people in general. He's greedy, he's mean, he's alone. And he employs a man named Bob Cratchit who has a big family and a son named Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim is tiny and has a disability that causes him to have a limp. Tiny Tim's illness also carries with it a low life expectancy. Ebenezer Scrooge also has a nephew who is the exact opposite of Scrooge. He loves Christmas, he's kind to everyone and charitable. One Christmas night, Scrooge is doing his normal I hate Christmas routine when he gets a warning from his old friend Marley. The problem is, is that Marley is dead. Marley's warning is meant to stop him from facing eternal damnation and tells him that he will see three ghosts on this Christmas night and visit him every hour to basically convince him to be a better human being. At first, Scrooge thinks that nothing is going to happen when the bell strikes one, but the first ghost arrives. The ghost of Christmas past. This ghost takes Scrooge back through his old Christmases when he was a little boy all the way up to when the love of his life left him on Christmas Eve because he was becoming such a workaholic. And now we know why Scrooge is such a meanie. The whole point of the Ghost of Christmas Past taking him through his childhood Christmases is to show him that Christmas wasn't always that bad for him. Yes, he didn't always get what he wanted, but there was joy of Christmas in little Ebenezer Scrooge. There was also joy when he met the love of his life and immense suffering and grief when she left him. Then we have the ghost of Christmas present. This ghost shows Scrooge everything he's missing at Christmas at the present time because he drives everyone away. His nephew is having a party and making fun of him. Despite their poverty, the Cratchit household is filled with warmth and love and excitement for Christmas, including Tiny Tim. The ghost of Christmas present does mention to Scrooge that he does not see any future Christmases with Tiny Tim involved, which leads us to believe that Tiny Tim does not survive his childhood. The ghost of Christmas present actually begins to convince Scrooge that he's being so mean when he sees the Cratchit household and the love that they have even though they are living on such a meager income. The Ghost of Christmas Future eventually shows up just right when Scrooge is starting to feel the Christmas spirit. The Ghost of Christmas Future is meant to show Scrooge what Christmas is going to be like in the future when he is literally dead. Do you think anybody cares that Scrooge is dead? Absolutely not. He walks Scrooge through essentially what life is like without him around, basically how happy everyone is that Scrooge is dead and they can take his money and stuff because no one misses him. By the end of the night, Scrooge is a changed man. He promises to keep Christmas in his heart all year round, and he buys a big turkey and takes it to Bob Cratchit's house where they have a big feast and everyone is happy, including Tiny Tim, who holds the power of God and blesses everyone. The earliest stage production of A Christmas Carol happened in 1844, and it was A Christmas Carol or The Miser's Warning. It was a two act adaption of the novella, by C.Z. Barnett, and it was first produced at the Surrey Theatre in London. Another version by Edward Sterling, A Christmas Carol or Past, Present, and Future, was actually sanctioned by Dickens himself and opened at the Adelphi Theatre in London in February of 1844. In 1994, A Christmas Carol, the musical, was produced on Broadway by Alan Menken and Lynn Ahrens, who are both Broadway icons. A Christmas Carol, the musical, ran at the theater at Mad Madison Square Garden in New York City until 2003. Television version of this same musical pr was produced in 2004 and starred Kelsey Grammer as Scrooge. There are an incredible amount of adaptations when it comes to this 1843 novella. Christmas Carol has been adapted so many times. No, I am not gonna go through all of them, but I am gonna talk about some of my personal favorites. Let's talk about my favorite adaptation of A Christmas Carol. My favorite adaptation of all time of A Christmas Carol is A Muppet's Christmas Carol. 
A Muppet's Christmas Carol is probably one of the best adaptations of Dickens's work and includes Gonzo and Rizzo the Rat as our narrators in this story. If you're not familiar with how Muppets media normally works, it is a mixture of Muppets and real life actors working together to create a story. In this particular adaptation, Michael Caine plays Scrooge and Kermit the Frog plays Bob Cratchit. The story is immensely captivating for young and old audiences alike and includes some great musical numbers that are just honestly so catchy. I don't know how you can't love this adaptation of A Christmas Carol. This is the intended way for Charles Dickens to have presented his work. Let's also talk about some newer adaptations. Because A Christmas Carol is such an iconic novella at Christmas time and has been adapted so many times, many of the newer contemporary versions of this story have had to change and get really interesting with their adaptation. The first that I want to talk about is Scrooged with Bill Murray. Scrooged came out in 1988. This was a film starring Bill Murray, who was a Scrooge-like character who ran a TV station that was doing a presentation of A Christmas Carol on the night of Christmas. Bill Murray's character follows the typical Scrooge outline. He's a mean old boss who just revels in the idea of violence and suffering. This story is very much an adult ad adaptation of the typical Christmas Carol story. However, the themes and messages stay the same throughout the movie. And while there are certain narrative changes, the biggest change being that Bill Murray's character is still connected with his lost love and he reconnects with her in the movie. Let's talk about one of the most recent ones that came out in 2022 called Spirited. Spirited stars Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell, and it is a modern musical comedy reimagining focused on the perspective of the ghosts. Will Ferrell plays the ghost of Christmas Present and Ryan Reynolds plays the character who is visited by the ghosts. So despite all of its adaptations, A Christmas Carol has become one of the most iconic Christmas stories of all time. While the story itself is focused on Christmas, the messages that are in the story and about Scrooge are universal. The story of A Christmas Carol can be set in any background with any culture and any actors. The truth is, is that Scrooge, being a horrible person, is able to overcome his meanness and find love in his heart for his fellow man. And that's it for A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and its various adaptations. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in class. Bye.